guys what is up welcome back to my channel and so excited about this week's video kind of switching it up it's currently 10 50 and i just got out of a morning long meeting so i kind of feel like i'm really only starting my work day now because i had um a meeting we were doing some updates this morning and so i'm really like i said starting my work day now um but i need to go through my emails and stuff and just kind of get myself like organized for the day give myself some to-do lists and stuff and i've been really loving my to-do list digitally and not writing them down it's just easier especially when you have a work from home or remote job right like i get emails all the time asking me to do things and it's just so much easier to like open up a tab and add it to my to-do list with that being said, I'm super excited to say that today's video is actually sponsored by Taskade. They're a real-time organization and collaboration platform. Use it to manage your tasks, outline, mind map, and all that stuff. It is such a great platform for any of you who work remotely or work from home or work in an office in general. Simple, it's easy to use, it's free, and they also have a built-in video chat, which is super cool. So if you are using it as a team or a company, you guys can actually video chat from the application, which is awesome. It's available on the web, iOS, Mac, and Android a week now and i absolutely love it so so much like i said i kind of struggled to find a like work collaboration space to use and i'm the only person from my team who uses it but i really really love it you can actually make reusable templates for your workspace so when you find what works for you you can just kind of copy that which is really awesome what works best for you which i love because i feel like a lot of work platforms are very like this is the template we have this is what you use and so it's really great for various different people right depending on what you like to see it's a really great platform because you can completely customize it up to you Probably the most simple organization tool i have found and i really really love it so i wanted to give you guys like a little tour of what mine looks like mine is pretty basic i just use it for tasks and to-do lists but you can also like sync your calendar and manage projects on there as well if you're kind of in like a management role so i want to say a huge thank you to taskade for sponsoring today's video i'll have all their links down below for you guys to check out let me know if you do and if you like it and i'm gonna give you guys a little tour of mine so here we go all right you guys so this is my workspace you can customize your little emoji as well which i think is so cute you can also change your background you can upload pictures for it you can change it you can use the pictures they have i absolutely love it so so much this is probably my favorite photo i don't know why i just love it you can also sync your calendar in here which is awesome from your work calendar um i don't use my well i do use it i took it off for the time being just because i have a lot of like details on there that i don't want to share on the internet um but i think it's just so awesome so this is my workspace and like i said there's so many different things you can do you can do tasks you can do roadmaps you can pick on their templates like they have so many different templates it's really really awesome um over here they have like a meeting agenda uh, project boards mind maps seriously so many i feel like the world is in your hands with this application so i'm gonna show you guys how i use it so i like to just make weekly to-do lists in here which is kind of how i organize my job so i put my goals for the week up here and then i just do kind of my daily tasks and what i actually love is that you can see your completed tasks i feel like it is really motivating to see how much you get done especially when working from home i feel like right now it's kind of hard to see your progress and it's so easy to get defeated but i actually really enjoy that you can see when you've completed a task can keep you on track and it's great too if like management wants to check up on you and see where you're at so at the beginning of every day i'll just put my tasks in here and kind of get going for the day so this is my really great workspace and collaboration application um and i like to separate my work from my personal so i use a different platform obviously for my personal life um but i really like having one whole platform for work it's really really great and i can't wait to explore it more so once again thank you taskade for sponsoring today's video i am gonna go ahead and probably head downstairs and make breakfast i am literally starving you guys i'm so hungry so i'm gonna go downstairs and make some breakfast i think i'm gonna have a green juice and some eggs and i have a video going live at 11 which always makes me so happy and yeah i actually today just decided i'm gonna film what i spent a month in quarantine and the only reason i'm doing it is because i didn't go into january thinking i'd film this video i just decided to do it now so it's gonna be super authentic and real right because i feel like when you're consciously thinking of filming a video you're trying to spend less obviously but this is just like a super accurate depiction so i'm really excited so i'm just writing down all of my costs right now in a word document and then i think i'll sit down later today or tomorrow and do that um i also need to do my macbook one month review too so I may as well get those out at the same time but I'm gonna take a quick morning break just because I've literally been sitting here since eight o'clock let's go make some breakfast and a green juice I'll show you guys how I do my green juice in the blender Lily taught me how 
Shout out to Lily because she's the one that taught me this. But you guys can make juice in a blender as long as you have a strainer. So I just got this from Walmart. It was like $3. And basically you blend everything up. I typically do like a very basic green juice, which is green apple, celery, and cucumber. Um, you guys can add whatever you want to it, obviously. Carrots, beets, oranges. Um, and then just do water and then you strain it out. I'm going to do some coconut water today just for a little bit of electrolytes. So I'll show you guys how I do that. But it's super simple and such a great way to do it if you don't have a juicer. Is so easy and yummy and such a great way to kickstart your day. Chef's kiss. I'm gonna try and show you guys my meals because you guys really like that and I want this week to be kind of themed around like how I stay healthy and active while working from home. So breakfast is the same every day, two over easy eggs with just some toast, whatever we have. This is just whole food sourdough and I use the Fadi ketchup because you got IBS and it's low FODMAP which is Kind of the food you should be following if you have IBS. I don't. The only dietary restriction I follow is that I don't eat dairy, and that's because I'm allergic to casein. So yeah, that's my breakfast. And so obsessed with my green juice. It's like an ombre green juice today. I am like so into it. So I'm gonna have breakfast now. My car is in the shop getting like an interior clean, so I had to take everything out of it. Yes, I'm a hoarder, but I need to sort through all this now. So we need to clean this up because this in my office is is not a vibe. So I'm gonna go through and sort all this stuff out. See if it's like staying, donated, whatever. And let's just clean this place up. Hey guys, you guys ask how I stay active while working from home. This is the answer. Just kidding. Um, but I've been really wanting to try this game. I've heard it's a really good workout. The reviews are really good. So I ordered it. I'm so excited. Stella is like, hello. What is that? Um, so yeah, it's for the Switch. <laughs> and yeah, it's kind of like a little workout app. I don't know. Every review said it's like an actual intense workout. So I'm really excited. So I'm going to try this a little later on and I'll bring you guys along for it. I think I never switch up where I film. But I figured we'd sit down for a second and talk about it because you guys ask me all the time about like staying active while working from home and stuff and one of my biggest tips which i know is not like accessible to everyone but my apple watch is like my saving grace because at the beginning of the year i told myself that i had to close my loops every day and obviously i guess like trigger warning because i know closing my loops can become like a very unhealthy obsession but for me it's more of like a challenge it's me like get up and get moving especially while i'm working from home so i've closed my loops every day in the year so far i'm gonna aim for every day this year i think which would be so fun but it just kind of forces me like get up and get moving um i don't really have any weights and stuff and i found with the first lockdown that changing up my workouts was the key because i would get bored of something so quick i obviously don't like have a spin bike or anything at home which sucks because i love to spin um but having a puppy is really great we go for walks at the dog park for like an hour every day so that's getting up and getting exercise and it's all more about movement to me than exercise right now like just getting up and getting my body moving um so we've been going for walks at the dog park and i've literally been playing like just dance on the fit and then now i have that ring fit game which i'm really excited about so when the weather gets nicer out hopefully we won't be in lockdown but going outside and going for runs and stuff but yeah i think for me it was about switching my mindset to be about getting movement in and not necessarily like an actual workout that's been key to me so that's what I've been doing. You guys ask me all the time about staying active and it's just getting up and getting moving. But having a puppy and stuff helps or I mean, you don't even need a puppy. You could just go for a walk. Um, but we try and walk for like an hour a day and then just finding fun other ways to move. So that is that. I am attempting this to be like a weekly vlog, but I feel like it's going to end up being like two or three days. Um, but I'm just going to work for the rest of the day and whatnot. So I will either chat with you guys in a little bit or tomorrow um i know i have to get groceries tomorrow at whole foods so i might take you guys along for that i don't know we'll see so stay tuned around 7 45 i just got home from running some errands and stella you look so sad <laughs> watch my last vlog you would know 
I said goodbye to the uploading schedule and it's been so nice to just like vlog whenever I want, upload whenever I want. So look where I just went. I'm so excited to show you guys everything. You guys know I go to Whole Foods like maybe once a month just to kind of see what's new, stock up on a few things. So I'm gonna do a little grocery haul. I'm gonna take everything out and then I'll show you guys what I got. I'm so pumped. Typically when I go to Whole Foods, I just kind of pick up whatever I want. Like I like to try new things. It's like my, like my little treat myself date night. Like I just get whatever I want. Um, but sometimes obviously if I'm there, like I need certain things, I'll get it. If they're on sale and they're not crazy expensive, like I needed lemons and a red onion. So I just got that. But okay, where do we even start? Okay, I just got some sourdough bread. I love fresh bread. And then I picked up some nutritional yeast because we didn't have any. And you guys know I am... I've gone dairy free so I picked something like that up and then I've heard really good things about the Riviera oat based vegan yogurt and so I wanted to try it Whole Foods has a really good selection of dairy free yogurt if you guys have one and I got the peach it's my favorite flavor so I'm excited to try that out and then my favorite ice cream you guys I would eat this even if it wasn't dairy free it's so good it tastes like a snickerdoodle um and I'm allergic to soy so I can't have a lot of soy based stuff so this is cashew it's so yummy and creamy I'm gonna actually just stick this right in the freezer and then I got this hummus which is so good I've had it before it's just a roasted garlic and spinach hummus um I don't usually buy fruit like this but I really want a cantaloupe so I got that um what else like this little um lemon ginger honey shot I'm like a sucker for getting them and I usually get just the one that's on sale this was like a dollar 99 then we got some cold brew I love the Califia blonde roast you guys know I'm obsessed with the Chobani oat milk it is so so good to froth so I love getting that got my favorite green juice from dose this is my favorite one the yogi celery kale spinach I already showed you guys that. Um, anyways, then I got some coconut water. I had a consultation today with Kayla. She's a like health and holistic wellness coach. And she suggested that I put coconut water in my smoothies instead of coconut milk or like any dairy milks, any dairy free milk. So I picked those up. That's kind of why I went. And then kombucha selection for the trip. I feel like Whole Foods always has up and coming kombucha brands. Um, so I'm really excited. I've never seen this one before, but it's the GT's sacred life it's blue which drew me in and like the actual packaging is really pretty so i got that one i love this brand pyramid ferments is one of my favorite um really good it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it and the blueberry is my favorite then i saw this and once again it was just pretty healthy kombucha but it's their bubbly rose i don't know thought it was cute give it a go coke um you guys know i love this we picked this up at walmart last week and i loved this flavor and matt's been drinking kombucha so i've been trying to get him fruity flavors to drink and then Cove, I love them. They're Canadian. I just got their raspberry limeade and then their raspberry lemonade. So that's my little Whole Foods fun haul. I'm going to put all this away in 50. So I think I'm going to just have a glass of wine and watch some YouTube. But let's put all this away and make our lunch for tomorrow. Tonight's wine of choice is this Dark Horse Sauvignon Blanc, so yummy, I love it. I like to buy cheap wine, so rye and cheap wine. So this is one of my favorites. So I'm gonna have a glass of wine, catch up on some YouTube videos, chat with you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, it's the next day, happy Tuesday. Um, oh my God, it's snowing right now. I think this is gonna be like a little two day vlog because I've just been so motivated to film so many vlogs that I'm like, I can't film a full week because I, I want to film like 6,000 vlogs. Um, I didn't end up playing with the, what's it called? The Ring Fit? I played it yesterday, but I think I'm going to play with it after work today. Um, it's currently about 11 and I need to film a video on my lunch break. I need to film my what I spend in a month. Um, film that and then I'm going to work for the rest of the day and then we're going to do the little Ring Fit tonight. We ended up going to the dog park last night for like an hour, hour and a half. Such a good workout. And then obviously you guys thought we got some Whole Foods groceries. It's so exciting. But today's going to be fun. I'm like, good morning and welcome to day two of this fun little vlog. <laughs> Second water of the day too. These things are great. They're like 30 ounces. So if you drink like three of these a day, you're good. I will link a below. It's from Amazon. I love it. I switched between this and the mason jar a lot. But yeah, I also said I was going to show you guys all my meals and then I completely forgot. So that's life but i'm gonna get back to work now and then on my lunch break when i'm filming my video i'll chat with you guys about my big life update <laughs>
just some Joffrey's Kona blend. We're having an ultimate Disney afternoon. I miss it so much. But afternoon coffee. Got the two computers going. And I'm going to finish off my work day. Look at these huge icicles outside of my office. Holy, that could really hurt somebody. Holy, oh my god, it's still, that thing is huge. Holy crap. I'm excited to show you guys this. So this is from Robo Design. Here is all their details if you guys are in the Ottawa area. They reached out and wanted to send us a little like water bowl tray. I'm looking for one for forever. So I'm so excited and so thankful they gifted this to us. But if you guys order and use the name Stella, you get a free bag of treats. And they gave us some treats from Supernova. Stella's already had some and loves them. Um, but look how gorgeous this is, you guys. I'm going to set it up in a second. But I wanted to show you guys. But it actually has her name on it, which is so, so sweet. So if you guys are watching this, thank you. I'll leave all the details down below. Like I said, if you guys use Stella's name, you get a free bag of treats, which is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. But... I just wanted to shout them out because you guys know I love to shout out small businesses. Uh, alrighty guys, the work day is done. It's 4 o'clock, which is great. I mean, I don't really talk about work much in this vlog, just kind of how I'm like balancing life right now. But I um, am going to go and plug in the Ring Fit and like try and play and see how it is. I'm so excited. Literally been looking forward to this moment all day to play this, so let's do it. Okay, so we got the Ring Fit and I'm going to unbox it and see what's in it. Oh, the game. And then it also comes with the, this is for like your leg or your arm and then this is the actual ring. So I'm gonna set it up, see what happens. Okay guys, I chose to do one of the like running ones to see and then I'll do like one of the weight ones, but I'm so excited. I'm literally ready to work out, full on workout. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I should put my hair up. You guys, wow, I didn't think it was actually gonna be that intense of a workout, but oh my god, I'm like out of breath. Wow, my heart rate was like up to like 155. That was such an intense workout. Holy cannoli, I didn't even like have my hair back or my makeup off or anything, I was just trying it out, but oh my gosh, that was such a good workout. But I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog off here because I think I'm gonna do another workout. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you kind of like these more like themed vlogs, like focusing on a theme, like balancing healthy lifestyle and work. I don't know. Let me know. Trying it out. Give this video. I'm so out of breath. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll chat with you guys next time. Bye.